and I've always been too good for you. I've been too good for you. I've been too good for anything that is associated to you. So you I'll be the one to say it. Offset one. Yeah. Even if Cardi did what they said Cardi did. How many years later? How many kids later? So Cardi B and Offset are TT again. And Offset is saying he won because he made Cardi B his baby mama. Let's get to it. Hey, beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here, and welcome to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. So today's video, we want to talk about the drama that has been going on about Cardi B and Offset and all that. If you don't know, I'm just going to keep you up to speed. I know this is like the thousand and one time we're talking. Like it's like almost like it's something that happens every year, literally. So apparently, Cardi B just gave birth to her third baby with Offset. Immediately she announced the pregnancy. She also announced that she's filing for divorce, and that's the thousand and one time that she has filed for a divorce. But it seems like this time it's getting really hot. It's getting really messy because. This has gotten a lot of people talking because Akali was on Instagram live just talking, ranting. You guys know Akali B is now. Akali B was there just talking and ranting and all that. Just really saying some stuff about it. Talking about how she regret being with Offset but she did not regret having the kids. How she's going to air her business because Offset was kind of in the comment section talking about how Akali B cheated on him. We just gotten a lot of people talking, talking about how Cardi B has gotten a leak back after all these years of offset cheating on her repeatedly and she keeps taking him back. But mind you, with this whole controversy of oh, Cardi B cheated on offset when she was pregnant with the last baby she just had, this just got everybody talking because there are some people that are saying that, oh, Cardi B, that is messy. Why would you do that? You have another man's baby in you and you were cheating. Why there's some people that are like, you know what, well, yeah, Cardi B, go get your leak back. He deserve it. Da 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 da. But while we were in this conversation, they also went, this is Instagram video back to back. They also went on Twitter and they were giving each other bad booze on Twitter. And Offset was like, you know what, eventually I won because I made you a baby mama. And this has struck a bigger conversation on people. Cardi B has always been very, very vocal and proud about how she's not a baby mama, but a wife before I know that so this is just very interesting I'm just going to play a couple of clips from those lives so you just get the energy because those are you know how Instagram life is very long so just a couple of clips and also people's reaction to the entire drama and then I'll come back and share more of my thought but let me know what you think about this Cardi B and Offset drama do you think it's it's going down do you think she will finally get a divorce or you think she's going to take Offset back do you think that are you team like, yeah, girl, get your leg back? Or your team like, don't waste your energy on him? Or your team of work out your marriage because of your children? I want to know your own thought down in the comment section. So with that all said, guys, let's go check out the some of the lives and people's thoughts on it. You and I've always been too good for you. I've been too good for you. I've been too good for anything that is associated to you. So you got to make yourself feel better because I make you feel so low about yourself. Because I don't make you feel like I'm, you're that in this home. So that's what you got to do. So you out here trying to hurt my feelings because you're the next. I don't give a f I don't give a Because that thing is good enough that I be having you crashing out. All weekend. You was mad happy today when I called you today. And the only reason why I, got, I, I called you today is because I'm trying to change my son's school. And I need your approval. Other than that, I don't care. Fuck the world. Ops. Fuck your ops. Uh, that's why. Ops. Yeah, of course, because you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't move with integrity. You're not a street. That's what you do. That's what you do. Oh, I'm a ops. Goo, goo, boo hoo. I don't give a fuck. You can ops. You can friend. I don't give a shit. You're lame to me, and you will never equate to me. And it's crazy that I even, I even let you, I even let you even play with me for such a long time. Because you're not even, you're not even a, 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 a real right for me. I make you look good. You. I don't care. Look at this. Matter of fact, oh, look at this. I don't want to see it. So what? You was going to do anyway. All you got to do is get drunk. And I'm going to throw you that for five, for 2000 to survive out here. Survive out here. Oh, oh, now, I'm, now I'm a, okay. You could do that. You was gonna do it regardless. You go to a club and you, you probably get drunk. You give that 
dollars and you was gonna regardless. Them gonna survive. These hungry out here. We in a recession, baby. You gotta get you gotta get paid. Do that. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, watch what I'm going to do to you. Watch what I'm a, this, that, blah, 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 blah. You already done it all. You already done it all. You already done it all. You done it all. You done it all. You done it all. Nothing surprises me anymore. Nothing surprises me. You done it all. So I don't care. I don't. Cardi is Thank done with Offset. So, all three of them. I don't regret none of them. But I regret you. I don't regret my kids. You're good, daddy. You all right. I don't regret them. N not none of them. Not none of them. You. I regret you. I'm too good for you. I've always been too good for you. You know I'm too good for you. And I don't, and I don't ever, 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 ever. I never even wanted to get on this social media because I don't want to turn off the next because this is not my type of shit. This is not my type of shit. I don't ever want the to ever think that I'm a mess. But you want to be a messy and do petty shit because you hurt? All right, we going to do it then. Let's go lick for lick. Let's go wrong for wrong. Let's go hit for hit. You. I told you, leave me the phone. Bye. about oh i'm gonna expose you or oh, i'm gonna put them text messages that's all through your phone i don't get i will expose my own tea i don't give a f i don't care i don't care do that i don't care you should be happy you know what you should be you you know what you should be happy you should be happy that i'm a real at the end of the day i'm a real and i'm a solid so one thing i'm not gonna do so you ever is entertaining them, your ops that be in my DMs trying to suck my I will never do that because the op to you is a want you dead. And I don't want you dead because my kids love the out of you, out of you. My kids love you down. So I will never do that. And I really follow, I really follow street codes. I will never be a lame man just to get back. No, no, I have to do that shit. I just got to find that's better than you. However, I don't give a Expose what I'm exposing myself out of here. I told you when the Libra start Libra, we really don't give a f now. Goodbye. Cardi B got on this internet and she said, Next time you see your mama, tell her how she raised her. I'm going outside because it's hot out. You want to play games, you want timeout. Where the fine? I'm trying to find me cuffed up too long. Let me remind. Mm. Mm. It's only one thing I want to say about the Cardi B and Offset drama because y'all know I was indulging. I love celebrity drama. I'm glad she got her lick back. All the people that's judging and saying all this stuff, first of all, I'm glad she got her lick back. Period. Point blank. And I just have to laugh that he's crying and sliding down the wall at this point because you thought she was going to do all that and she wasn't going to get her lick back. You were dating a Libra. Their job is to balance and correct when needed. You didn't think she was going to tip the scales a little bit eventually. And I'm not going to say she dodged a bullet because clearly she had three kids by the man and was married to the man. However, I do think she dodged a narc. Because, baby, we ain't never seen Offset act like this. But when I tell you, a narc will always show you who the fuck they are once they don't have control of you. They're going to start saying shit and doing shit that absolutely is out of character. And you have never seen them do because they do not have control over you anymore. The only thing that's still unclear is that comment that he made about sleeping with her sister. Because I thought Hennessy was with a woman. But I could also be confused. So, I wonder... Because that would be grimy too. This man really got on the internet and said, you just my baby mama, I won. If that's not the most diabolical thing I've ever heard, I don't know what is. But this is a perfect example of you believe men the first time and to never give a man the benefit of the doubt ever because they are very intentional. These men are not dumb, they're smart. He just basically told her, I never wanted you, I just baby mama you. But if you would have believed him the first time, they would have never even got married. Mm -hmm. You never give a man the benefit of the doubt. I'm sure that Cardi was probably like, once we get married, this will stop. Once we have kids, this will stop. Well, once we have a second kid, once we have a third kid, it never stops. It just gets worse. 
you believe them the first time and you don't give no grown man the benefit of the doubt because they know exactly what they're doing. They know now he got a rich baby mama taking care of his kids. And we already know how many other kids he got. Oh, I just I just pray that all women stop just giving any man kids because a lot of men don't deserve kids. They don't deserve families. A lot of men, you have to leave them as I love you because God commands me to love my neighbor and that's it. They get the love of Jesus Christ and that's it. Stop complaining to us about people that you picked. I don't know when it's going to get through to y'all that you picked them. So it doesn't matter what they do to you. It doesn't matter what they do. We are going to look back at you because you picked them. D does that make sense to you? There's no way you can sit up and tell me how horrible somebody is and yet you've dealt with this person. And you've continuously dealt with this person after knowing what type of person they are. Who really the stupid one? The one who keep doing the stuff because they know they got a dummy or the dummy who actually just sit back and let them do it. Mm. That, that, that's what you got to start thinking cool. about. While you sitting up and airing out all of the business of what somebody has done to you, the only thing anybody with any common sense is thinking is, but you let them do it. And you kept letting them do it. Mm. So, like, what what are we doing? Why 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 are you telling me? Why why would I care? If you don't care, I surely don't care. And clearly, you don't care because you let people run all over you. You let people treat you the way that they want to. And since you do that, keep it to yourself. Everything that they do to you, why they dog walking you, keep that to yourself, right? Because it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing when you get online and tell us all of the stuff that you tolerated in a relationship just to be in one. Why you think you making them look bad? It's really you that look silly. Let's keep it a band. There's a whole series of decisions you have to make and actions you have to take in order to cheat. Cheating is never an accident. It's always a choice. Always a choice. And dare I say, it's a character flaw. You won't cheat on somebody that you actually love and like. That is why I say, I don't think Offset ever really like Cardi B like that. He might have had love for her, but I don't think he ever liked her. Like, I don't, maybe he wasn't even attracted to her. The way Cardi B promotes herself, and I don't know her, obviously I don't, but the way she puts herself out there, she like and she like her man. So I'm fairly certain there was no shortage he could dive into at the crib. He just didn't want to dive in that. <laughs> he just didn't want to dive in that. <laughs> I mean, go look at the women he cheated with and then look at Cardi B and then you tell me if he was attracted to Cardi B. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So I'll be the one to say it. Offset one. Yeah. Even if Cardi did what they said Cardi did. How many years later? Mm. How many kids later? Mm. To say she won this little whatever they got going on. She would have had to leave the first time. Kid, no kid, marriage, no marriage, whatever. She would have had to leave the first time to be the winner. Mm -hmm. Doing it this far down the line, being done now, I think people are relieved. But he was right. He won. Kind of. But when you have a winner in this little game that they're playing, the only people who lose... Yeah. Or the three that they created. Mm -hmm. Because now your mom and your daddy business all over the internet. And now you knew what was going on when you was in the womb. Offset was not expecting that when Cardi B said and did. Because it's hard to try to drop tea or, on somebody when they openly are like, yep, I did that. And, and from what it seems like, it seems like Cardi B is genuinely done this time. And good for her because she was always too good for Offset. Let's be honest, who is checking for Offset? Who is checking for Offset music? Offset has a couple good bops, yes, but nobody's really like checking for Offset music. Like he is not that relevant without Cardi B, without the Migos. Whether or not Cardi B really slept with another man while she was pregnant with Offset's child, like it's believable because it's Cardi B. And I'm sure there are a lot of men who would love to be with her, but she was always with Offset, so they just never had their chance. But then it's also believable if she didn't actually sleep with somebody because she could just be trying to mess with Offset's head by saying, and did. Whether or not Cardi B actually slept with somebody else while being pregnant with Offset's child, 
it doesn't even matter because weren't they separated while she was pregnant? Like, hadn't they already been separated, first of all? Second of all, Offset been cheating on this woman for God knows how long. So she got her lick back. I just hope for her and, like, the kid's sake, she is genuinely, like, moving away from this man. Mm -hmm. um, because the way he talks to her and the stuff he was saying in them comments unacceptable good for cardi b for standing on business y'all see that i just want to i just want y'all to see this part you're my bm i won i made another video on my my other page it's basically saying men will get you pregnant just to sit you down because they think mm -hmm. that by you having their child they have a direct line to you for the rest <laughs> of that child's life mm -hmm. And they do not. They do not. Do y'all have to co-parent? Yes. Do y'all share a child? Yes. But be careful when a when a man is out here show, telling you telling you stuff, but his actions don't match that. And then he starts talking about he he he, he wants you to have his baby, and y'all not married, and he has no signs of wanting to marry you. They will get you pregnant mm -hmm. just so that they have a direct line to you for the rest Bye. of your life. Bye. You understand? Cardi, keep your man, Nick. Because one thing a toxic, a toxic baby daddy gonna do is cheat on you and when you get your lick back they can't take it because they can dish it but they can't take it this man sitting here talking about some oh she was cheating on me when she had a baby in her and you cheated on her y'all whole marriage the whole time y'all been together you've been cheating on her left and right very much so in her face very much so publicly very much so embarrassing her but you mad because she got her leg back. <laughs> Boy, gone somewhere. Cardi, don't change your mind. Stay right where you are. Because, like, now he's trying to embarrass you. He's trying to embarrass you. Although he has been embarrassing you this whole time. Uh -huh. Now he's trying to embarrass you. Oh, she was cheating. So what? When she said and did, I'm like, yes, yeah, good for you. Now listen, I don't think it's toxic but dudes come on y'all y'all be out here just cheating doing y'all women wrong and then when she step out and clap back now you crying you somewhere sick and that's what all said is he's sick because cardi don't want him no more he's used to being able to woo her back he's used to being able to convince her to work it out and now she's like you know what i'm done and i don't blame her cardi stay done Stay done because you do deserve somebody that can be loyal to you, somebody who can love you and not embarrass you and hurt your feelings and make you cry. Like, I remember all of that she used to say, like, all the crying she used to do and all that, and tweeting about it and put it on Instagram. Girl, keep your on his neck because that's where it deserves to be. And it's so funny to me because he gonna put on social media that he don't want her. And then she released text messages of him like, oh, you really don't want me back? This, this is typical baby daddy behavior. Like, and I'm laughing because when I saw it, I had a good key key. Because I went through this with mine. Like, when I was like, you know what? I'm done, bro. Like, just leave me alone. I'm all set. <laughs> you can go and get up out of here. I'm done. He tried to put on the image. Yeah, I'm done with her. You know, I don't know. You know, you know, you know. Nah, bro. You know what it is because you calling and texting at night. Still, we don't get on that. Calling and texting at night, trying to make something pop again. No, they these dudes be making it seem like I'm off her. No, you're not. No, you're not. You still very much don't want her, but you don't want to put in the work to keep and maintain your relationship. Going to therapy, trying to really change and do what needs to be done. It's easier for them to just go out and thigh and bop and be with random girls. Cardi, keep it there. Put that album out. You know, recover. You just had a baby. Work on that music. Put that album out and come on, girl. Stay away from him. Fan you somebody better. I am totally here for this. I am totally, totally here for this. Keep your name. snake. Cardi B and Off Cheat. What's the biggest takeaway for us today, ladies? What's the lesson of the day? The lesson of the day is stop staying in relationships with men 
who clearly do not like you. Mm -hmm. Stop giving access of yourselves to men who clearly do not like you. Off Cheat has never liked Cardi. Never. Us as bystanders, us the public, it's always been obvious if you pay attention. A man who consistently goes out of his way to disrespect you in private and in public does not like you, does not value you. Actually, he despises you. Mm -hmm. He sticks around because of what he can get out of you. Mm -hmm. Not because he actually loves you, not because he thinks the world of you. For some of you, these men are sticking around because he needs a place to stay. For some of you, these men are sticking around because cons consistent. For some of you, some of these men are sticking around because, I mean, it's food on the table. Like, mm -hmm. whatever they can get out of you is why they stick around. They're not sticking around because they really love you and think the world of you and want to build you up and want to support you and want to build a life together. No. And then, for God forbid you give him babies. He forever has access to you now. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you guys are paying attention to how these celebrity divorces have been going down lately. These women are paying these men alimonies. So I hope uh, 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 Cardi B has an a airtight prenup. You my BM, I won. Yeah, it's a very diabolical thing to say. But he ate that. Because he did. Mm -hmm. He won the access to you. Mm -hmm. And now if you don't have your shit together, he's going to win your coins. He's going to win your emotions. He's going to continuously win. Biggest takeaway. Stop. Stop. Stop staying in relationships with men who despise you. And, and and let what's going on with Miss Cardi and Offset be a lesson to each and every one of you ladies. When you on you, I don't want to see a nary near one of y'all crying, snotty nose, sliding down the wall, throwing up. Don't call your therapist. Actually hang up on the Close the journal and cheat back on that day. Cheat back. I am not a cheater. But I am a cheat backer. I am very pro getting that lick back. Because it doesn't make sense to me that your partner gets to cheat and have fun at your expense. But you have to be the bigger person. No, ma'am. <laughs> if you want to defy my trust and give me a lot of emotional things to work on, we are going to work on the emotions together. Ain't no one sided around here. Okay, cheat on that man today. And as a matter of fact, cheat with his barber. Okay, as you were. Listen, sometimes the only language they will understand is get back. That's the only way you can communicate with somebody is in get back. They got to know what's in you, baby. They got to know what's in you. I feel bad for Cardi B, but some lessons you have to learn by going through it. And if it's one thing that most women learn is that men will want a bad but can't maintain it. He was buying her car and she don't even know how to drive. But they'll say, oh, but I bought you a $300,000 car. I bought you a half a million dollar car. Well, I don't drive. Okay, I bought you more Birkins than the Skittles. I'm still not happy. We buying houses and I got you a nice house in Atlanta and I decorate. I don't like Atlanta. How do we know? How do we know these things? And he don't know these things. And I'm not saying those are the things that broke them up. But I'm just saying a lot of times men don't even know. They don't like women. They like the aesthetic of having a woman. They like the clout that they get with having, having a woman. But they do not like women. You got to think. There wasn't a day that Cardi wasn't bringing in more money than him. There wasn't a day. I guarantee it. I don't have the bank proof, but I know for a fact there wasn't a day that Cardi was not bringing in more money than Offset. You think he going to turn and like her? You think he's sitting there kissing her feet? What? No. He's going to do something that's going to embarrass her to bring her down. I.e. with the ops. 
That's weird. Men will really hate you and lay with you and make babies with you. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm telling the truth, y'all. Which. Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about these conversations down in the comment section. But as always, keep it respectful. Yeah, on this channel, we're allowed to disagree, but we do it in a respectful way. So go ahead, feel free, and share your thoughts. Let me know down in the comment section, are you team get your leg back when you find your man cheating? Is it that you're going to cheat back or you're the one like, you know what, just walk away. He doesn't deserve that energy. Or you are the type that is just going to give him another chance to see for him to prove himself. I really want to know your own take on that. I'll let you guys know mine, okay? <laughs> anyway, guys, this all can be an offset um, situation. First up, before I even go on to even give my thoughts on this, which I'm also even giving inside, and that's why I'm like, should I do the story? Because this is something that has happened over and over again and a lot of us was expecting Cardi B to make that bold step to move on because like, even from the get-go before she even had kids before um the first after the first kid everybody they had a, they, she filed for divorce like there was a whole lot of chance for her to leave but she always ended up going back and i hope this is for real because most times we're like oh i hope this is for real Cardi, Cardi. Stand on business, girl. Just stay there. Like, I just really hope, like, because as much as we're all hyping her up now, like, da 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 da, girl, you yeah, stay on. Can you always end up going back? For me, that's my only fear in this whole conversation, this whole story. But that's to say that the conversation of Offset talking about how he won and he made her a baby mama, this is why we have this conversation here. Yeah, and we we'll always tell ladies that. Always be very intentional about the man you choose to lay down with and why you choose to lay down with that man. If it does not benefit you in any way, if it does not add to your life in any way, and it must not be money, okay? Because everybody knows exactly what they want out of a relationship, what they want out of a relationship. But just be very intentional because whether you like it or not, a lot of these men are very intentional about why they are with you. They are very they are not with you because they love you. A lot of men, and we've clearly see it, a, a lot of men have actually proved it that really, they really don't like most of the women they end up with. They don't. But you know why they're going to stay and stay there and keep begging to come back there? Is the fact that there's something he wants that you have access to that with you, he has access to it, and then he will keep you there, just there. Just want to keep you there in the future. And just want to keep you there. So that I can have access to those things. It could be sex, it could be money, it could be attention, it could be uh, any fame, it could be anything. And that's why as ladies, be very intentional. And stop giving this man children. We've talked about this. Stop giving this man children. Because whether you like it or not, I'm, I've done a couple of videos about this before. Most times when you, a man gets you pregnant, the reason is not because he wants to be an amazing father. It's because so that he can lock you down. And there's a lot of men in my society that does this, that you will see them, once they are started dating together, like, uh, to lock her down, just get her pregnant. So I, this is something I know, like, since I was young. When a man gets you pregnant... Is to lock you down. And most times we saw Cardi B talking about how she's not a baby mama and all that. And we've had this conversation here because sometimes we'll, you see some people say, oh, I'm a wife first before I became a mother and all that. And yes, there's a pride in that. But also, that still does not stop this man. This man know that if that is the only way for them to get access to you, they will put a ring on it and they will cheat on you. They will make that marriage hell for you. You will be so miserable and unhappy inside the marriage. So when I see sometimes when people, I'm not glorifying the baby mama culture, nobody should get it. Through. So, but when I see people say, oh, but I'm a wife first, <laughs> you can easily just be an ex-wife the next day. So the, the only key to this thing is that stop having children with these men. If you, want to, if you want to have kids and you know you want to have kids for yourself and you're ready to be a single mom, go on. Go on, have the kids. But if you're having the kids with the essence of, oh, it's to build the family together. And I feel like this is why Cardi B had one, two, three kids with him, thinking that it's going to make the relationship stronger. And she accepting his other kids. And I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, Cardi is amazing for that. Accepting the other, like, oh, it's going to prove to her how loyal. And, hmm. 
men, no matter how loyal you are to them, they still don't like you. They just want access to that thing that they want. So ladies, be very intentional. And then talking about the um um Caribbean got a leak back, da 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 da. For me, yes, like I am that. For me, th okay, this is it. Uh, and something I'm going to tell you guys something very ridiculous that it's something I've told my husband from the jump. Like I've always said, I was like, if I catch you, you will catch me. The same devil that used you will use me. So I am of that opinion that. I'm not that woman that if I catch you, you will not come and tell me that it is the devil. The devil will use me too. <laughs> I'm of that opinion. So a lot of time, most men can stand when their women cheat, but they expect their women to take them back when they cheat. They expect to, for them to blame, and blame it on alcohol, blame it on, oh, we're having problems, blame it on, oh, the friends I was following, blame it on all sorts of reasons. Even sometimes they blame it on themselves, like, oh, yes, I was just weak and all that. <laughs> A man that cheats knows exactly why. No, he's doing it intentionally. It's there's nothing like mistake when somebody cheats. So for me, if your brain can process why you can do it, mine too can process it. So I'm of that one. Like, ladies, get your leak back and let him know that you can get your leak back. And this is some a conversation I had with my husband on the get go when we, when, before we even got married when we were still dating. Like I said before, myself and my husband we dated for ten years before we got married. It was something like the day I catch you, you will catch me. Like I'm not even mixing words. And he knows that I'm a gorgeous woman. I have rosters. There are men talking to me. So behave yourself the same way I'm being committed to this thing. And some people say, "Oh, that's you threatening him." No, that's me letting him know what exactly what I'll do. So the court is the ball is in your court. So yes, I'm of the opinion like get your leg back. Mm -hmm. And I carry carry with it too long. I like I just feel like you could have just gotten out from the get go, but. And this is why another thing too we talk about a lot here on this channel about how as women we need to heal our trauma, know who we are, what we are, and what we want. Because this is one of the reasons why a lot of women stay in relationships that don't serve them because they are clinging on to something, mommy issues, they are scared of being alone. And that is a, that is a real fear of a lot of women, scared of being alone, scared not having a man. You can even hear Kadibi talking about, oh, is the next thing. She's not even thinking about focusing on herself. She's talking about, oh, I'm worried. I don't want the next um, man to think that I am messy because I'm not. She's still thinking about what the next man thinks. She's not thinking about just to focus on herself, just to center herself, just to put herself in the center of herself, the main character of her own life. She, there was always this need for women to feel like they need to have a man. And for me, that's, that, that's where the work comes in. That's where therapy comes in. So as ladies, please do the work, do the therapy, okay? Please, it's, it will help. Coming for somebody that like it helps i'm telling you guys it helps the level of confidence and self confidence and self esteem you have when you do the work and you're very cautious, uh, you're very intentional and cautious and in, um you move with intentions it's a different type like i'm not i don't even know how to explain it, but it's a different type i can tell you i can tell you coming from somebody that i am a very clingy person i'm a clingy girl I, i'm all i'm like i, I can't leave my man and all yeah yes i'll see that one that went for a solo vacation okay all by myself for over a month <laughs> so anyway guys please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts love to know what you think about this amazing conversation down in the comment section but as always keep it respectful you're on this channel we're allowed to disagree but we'll do it in a respectful way so go ahead feel free and share your thoughts Share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here. We have banging conversations, so go on and share this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the like button because this helps YouTube to push up my content for more people to see. And that will be you supporting this channel and this girl here, so go on and do that. Subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys in my next video. Deuces!